Designed by architect Henry Bacon, the Lincoln Memorial is designed and constructed specifically to draw out Lincoln's role as the great uniter of the, the, the United States during and after the Civil War. The materials are seemingly a hodgepodge from all across the country. Massachusetts granite is used on the stairs. There is marble from Georgia that's used to construct the, the, the statue itself. The exterior walls are from Colorado, wool marble. The ceiling tiles are from Alabama. All of those from across the country, from states north and south, joining together to build this great memorial to Abraham Lincoln, just as Lincoln himself reunified the states at the end of the Civil War. The design called for it to be elevated above the reflecting pool and above the surrounding landscape. Um, and the landscaping that you see, the hill that it's on, was created after the, uh, the memorial was created. Among the thousands of visitors who come here every day, it's very easy to get a sense of awe and inspiration from those that climb the steps to, to the chamber. While it's bustling and, and full of activity outside, inside the chamber, there's almost universally a hushed reverence, a quietness about it as people gaze upon the statue and move to, to, to the two walls to read the, the speeches that are engraved there. Unlike any other monument or memorial in the nation's capital, the Lincoln Memorial has evolved from merely being a memorial to the nation's 16th president. It has become the backdrop for national celebrations and it has become the foremost location uh, in America for the expression of one's First Amendment rights and for demonstrations, particularly those related to civil rights. Starting in 1939, for example, we see Marian Anderson give a concert on Easter morning here after being denied access to Constitution Hall due merely to the, the color of her skin. Of course, Martin Luther King delivers what is arguably the most famous speech in American history from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial uh, during the March uh, on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. 